Hello YouTube! Today we are so excited to show you what we are doing. We are installing a new water filter for the house and for the kitchen. So there's going to be no more bottled water, no more plastic is the best. This is the company we chose to go with. It's called Pure 2O. It does reverse osmosis and you can see their information. Their phone number is 888-393-1828. This is their van. They're currently working on the basement unit and installing the kitchen unit. It is taking a little bit of space, but I don't mind because we are sick of buying bottled water and I will show you once everything is installed and done. I will show you how and where they are lo located in the house and how they work. I'm excited. This is the basement sink and this whole corner has the whole house filter. This is the big unit and it has to be tapped into the main line. The filter has to be changed once every four to five years depending on usage. It is a big unit and needs a nice space to sit in and it needs to be drained. It drains itself at night around 2 p.m. This is your purification system. There's four, four filters in here and then there's the fifth one right here. Okay. Okay, this is your connection to the drain. All the impurities get flushed to the drain. All the bad water and all the good water gets put in this holding tank. Okay, great. So this is where all this holds about three, three and a half gallons worth of water. Okay. All right, back here. <coughs> back here is a is a blue valve. Uh huh. And if that's on right now, uh -huh. to turn it off, you push it up. Okay. That shuts the system off, and turn it on is facing the tubing. Okay. Right now the tank valve is off. I'm gonna turn it on uh, uh, as soon as we get water. I'm gonna it goes on. Okay, leave it off. Turn it off. So as soon as we get start getting water, I'm gonna turn this tank valve on. That will allow water to go How into it. Turn it, it on? Uh, just a quarter turn. So I'll show you as soon as okay. I'm able to. Okay. Um, every year we call you. I'll call you every January, and uh, we're gonna come and change your filters. Um, he explained everything to you about yes. that. Yeah. So uh, other than that, that's it. So you have that shut off on the cold water pipe, the blue valve and the blue valve on top of the tank. If there's ever a leak or a problem or you decide to redo the kitchen or whatever the case may be, to turn the system off is this blue valve here and the blue valve on top of the uh, on top of the cold water pipe. Okay. Just turn both those off and give us a call if there's ever an issue. Okay. Uh, as soon as we get water, we'll be able to turn on the tank. That's gonna come out carbon. Okay. That's why the I'm system needs to be flushed lying. twice today before you start using the water. Okay, for how long? Uh, it needs to be flushed um, in two, twice in two hour intervals. So at uh, 1.30, mm -hmm. what you do is you turn on the faucet and you let all the water run out. Okay? It takes about five, six minutes to empty okay. this tank out. Okay, I see. And then once it gets to a slow trickle, turn it off. Okay. 3.30, you turn the faucet on, you let all the water run out. So 1.30 and 3.30? 1.30 and 3.30. It's filling up now, right? Yeah, it, the filters have to soak themselves. So it takes time at first to get a, your first flow. Okay. So you see that stream you're getting right now? Yeah. When you get when you do the, the first flush at 1.30, it's going to be a lot more. You're going to have a full flow. Okay. And when it gets to this point, that's when you turn the faucet off. Okay. You wait two hours from that point, so like around 1.30, 1.45. And you turn the faucet on again, you let it all run out, and when it gets to this point, you turn it off. And then at, uh, what's 3.30, so like 
around 4.35 o'clock, you can start using the water to drink and cook with. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Tank is on. To so turn it off, go like that. Turn it back on, and go like that. Okay, and there's a stop to it, right? Yeah. Okay. So it either goes perpendicular off, when it's facing the tubing, it's on. You're never going to run out of water. Yeah, that's an issue that we have now. We constantly have to learn to get water. Yeah. Well, this is a good convenience then because you're not going to run out of water anymore. So later, when you do the first flush, when it gets to this point, that's when you know the tank is empty. All you do is turn the faucet off. You wait two hours from that point. You do one more flush. You turn the faucet on. You get all the water out in full flow. It gets to this point. Turn it off. Yeah. And then you can wait an hour and start using the water. This is your activated carbon system. This filters the water in your whole house, removing chemicals, chlorine, ammonia, byproducts of chlorination, anything heavy metals. So it's going to make your water good for when you're bathing, showering, and so forth. Your dishwasher, your appliances. Uh, the water comes in here. It goes through our system. It comes back out and into your back into your home. This is your bypass here. That's the only thing you really need to know. If there's, if there's ever an issue or if the town sends you a letter saying if you have a filtration system to put it on bypass, right, this is how you put it on bypass. Right, right now this is on, that's mm -hmm. in service when it's facing. And on this side it's off right now because we we're don't we flushing it, we don't want the water to go back in the house. So th if you ever have to turn it off, you have, they have to be perpendicular like this. And this is when it's in service, when it's on. When it's like this is when it's off. So if you ever get a letter from the town saying turn your filtration systems off if they're doing uh, work in the street or if there's ever like a water main break, sometimes they ask you to turn your filtration system off. So you just turn it off and then you have you still have water, but you'll have regular town water at that point. So this has to be in that position. This position if to turn off. it off. And this position, like that. this will stay like this when we leave. Okay. We'll, we'll turn the other one back on, just not yet. We have so to wait until. So they both have to be on if, if everything is okay yeah. and the town doesn't call it to, to shut yeah. it off. Basically, think of it like this. When it's facing this way, the water is going to come and it's going to bounce back in. It's not going to go into the system. Okay. It's, so you have, you'll still have water in the home, but you'll just have regular town water. Okay. You won't have the filtered water. So when we leave, they're both going to be like this and like this. We're just filling the tank right now with water. Because okay. inside of here is all the media. So the machine backwashes, that means it's cleaning itself and all the impurities are flushed down to the drain. Okay. It happens once a week at 2 a.m. Okay? okay? And this is the bypass. In case you need to bypass the system, that's how you turn it off. Okay. And you go back to town water. Okay. okay? So it's not that you don't, won't have water, you'll still have water. This is when it's in service. Okay. okay? The noise is just because it's cleaning itself. Okay. okay? It's just for now, then it's gonna be quiet. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. The system is quiet, is in service. This is if you're not, during the day the machine is working and it's quiet. Oh wow. See, it shows the time, it's 11.48. Mm -hmm. It's the time of our, right now. Mm -hmm. um, there is a battery that is just for the programming, okay? okay. For the time, in case the power goes off, that's a battery. The bar here. No, the barcode. Oh, yes, you can scan this and get the bar a manual. Okay. okay. Thank you. Now the time. If power goes off, we plugged it in there. Mm -hmm. Over there. If the power goes off, uh, what you do? You push set. Mm -hmm. You hold it for five seconds, and the, yeah, you set it to your time. Okay. whatever time is it, it is make sure um, you have p.m. and a.m. so if you go up see we're going to 12 49 p.m. so we go back that's the right time okay. that's for the hours set again for the minutes okay. up or down okay so it's not necessary to do but instead of back washing at 2 a.m. if the power goes off for an hour it's gonna do it at 3 a.m. so that's not a big yeah. deal uh, but if you want it to set to say the right time, you can do okay. that. When the time changes, yeah, you can do it too. Okay. All right, but okay. otherwise, if the time is this says the right time, it's gonna backwash at two a.m. Okay. Okay. Now, the system has been installed since twelve o'clock. 
they asked us before they leave to flush it at 1.30. So now it's 1.30. They said to flush it until the tank is empty. And this is how it looks. They said it might take about six minutes. I'm not going to videotape the whole thing. But they said the stream is going to be a lot less, so the flow is going to be a lot less by the time the tank is empty. That's what we're going to be using for drinking water and cooking. So they said we need to also flush it at 3.30. And after that, we can start using the, the water for cooking and drinking between 4.30 and 5 o'clock. So after the second flush, we wait half an hour to an hour and a half, and then we can start using it for cooking and drinking. I think they said the tank holds about three and a half gallons of water. So it takes, a, it takes some time to, uh, to empty it out. And now the, the flow is a little bit less, as you can see. done so from now we're gonna have to wait until 3:30 to two, uh, two hours from now and we flush it again I am now flushing the system for the second time I know it's dark in here I forgot to turn on the light but once it's done, we can wait half an hour to an hour and a half, and then we can use the water. 